Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and also welcome to St. Martin de Porres Residence Hall. Alright y'all, so this is what it looks like when you step off of the elevator into a lobby. Now, um, each forest lobby is different, but everything on the hall is basically the same. So if you turn to your left, there's this study room. Right, this is typically what it looks like. You got um, three sets of tables right here, and then there is a whiteboard that you can own. Just write stuff on. You can come in here study with your friends for Kim. And we got this nice view that you can't see because it rained last night. So yeah, that's fine. But just for reference, that right there is Xavier South. That's the gym. And then right over there is a. Uh, so, oh, and by the way, all of these tables are next to plugs. So you got one right here. You got one right there, and then the location of this table right here may be moved, but there's a socket right there and one right there. Oh, and there's also an, a thermostat, so you can change the temperature. Now, if you come walk through this door, there's a little kitchen area. So, of course, another table just in case that room is full. And there is a plug. Now you also have a sink and cabinets. I don't think the cabinets open, but you can come and wash dishes in here if your sink in your room isn't big enough. And you got a vending machine and a drink machine. So that's basically it. Um, you can come this way and there are rooms down here. There's also a stairwell which will lead you down to the front desk. But let's just go walk back around the corner. Now, once again, back to the lobby area. So if you want to go to the um, little vending machine room of course you can go through that study room or you can walk out walk this way and it'll be around that corner next so right here it's just a long hallway of rooms um all of the rooms do look the same they're all double rooms and you only share a bathroom with your roommate so that's great And there are two RAs on each floor, um, but they're not as interactive as they were in KD. So, I mean, I guess they figure we're all adults. <laughs> but yeah, so you come down here. This right here is the storage room. Look, I'm telling y'all before I love on, but this right here is the storage room. Um, you can get a key from the RA and keep your luggage in here, and then. Right next to this is the trash room. You just pop it open and go to the trash chute. And then you just throw your trash down there. All right, so next you have the laundry room. So each floor has three washers and four dryers. Um, on minimum, the washers take 39 minutes on minimum the dryers take um 60 but every time you press start on it while the load is going it adds an extra 15 minutes not sure if the washer does that i don't think so but got the well never mind but there's a table you can fold your clothes you can come and sit while you wait and there's also a trash can and then right across from this is the other stairwell that'll lead you down to the first floor in the boys dorm 
All right, y'all, so the last common area on each floor is this big kitchenette study area, as I like to call it. So this is just what it looks like. I'm trying to be steady for y'all, because I know I have the tendency to be shaky. But, you know, as you can see, there is the same type of whiteboard-ish thing that you can write on. Um, each table does have some sort of plug behind it. Um, thermostat as well, so if you get too hot or too cold, you can turn the air up or down. And um, yeah, it's really a mixture of the two rooms on the other side of the hall. This one is just bigger, it has the cabinets, it has the sinks, it has the tables, it has the plugs. And also another great view that you all cannot see because, again, it was raining. Okay, y'all, that was so dramatic, but I'm about to show y'all the inside of an actual room, NDP, oh my gosh. Okay, so front door, this is what you get. Um, in the little entryway, there is a light right there. Um, the light on the left is for the entire room. The light on the right is for the little light that I just showed you. Depending on what layout your room has, I mean, everything is essentially the same, just the side of the bathroom placement, but your bathroom will be either on the left or to the right of your front door. But you walk in, you got yourself a little um, tall rack right there, two hooks right there, just your standard standing shower. Um, for y'all that are in KD, fourth through six floors, it has the same shower head. It's really nice. Um, come back this way, you know, just your regular toilet. Nothing special. I got my scale right there, my face towel, my shower cap, and my towel that I used to dry off, and my broom because we don't have carpet. And then, boom, hello, it's me in the mirror. So, this refrigerator right here in this microwave, they come with the room. And if you turn this way, you see me in the mirror. Whoop whoop, your girl got her hair straight. It's okay, wear my navy wife shirt, represent who ya. But yeah, okay, so you get yourself this nice long counter area and this nice big mirror. Whoop, and then this right here is our AC. We can control it ourselves. The mirror does have lights. You put this little thing right here, and then boom, all of the lights. Boom, boom. And then we also have this medicine cabinet. Look, it's me again in my straightened hair. Wait, wrong way. Yes, yes, yes. I'm struggling, okay. But yeah, medicine cabinet. Like I told y'all when I moved in, we cleaned it, put our stuff in there, whoop, whoop. So come to the side, and this is my side of the room. Um, twin XL bed for both me and my roommate so I'm assuming all the beds in here are twin XL um, I just have my decoration my uh, letters and my pillows same stuff from last year but I did try something new since my roommate um, is very <laughs> decorative I love that about her so I was influenced you know to get my own decorations and then boom you see that right there shout out to my little sister she made that for me in her art class all right, so under the bed, we have my secrets, all of my secrets. Okay, so same two drawers from KD, they are stackable, but once you see the rest of the room, it's like where you're gonna stack them at. Um, nothing important, water, slippers, water that I was supposed to take with me. I was looking for that water today. Um, my toilet paper, my earplugs, and my extension cord thingy, ironing board, food stuff and my iron in my suitcase and you slide this way um, you get this chair that tilts back on its leg and kind of rocks forward it's kind of cool same desk setup from Katie first through third floors put whatever on it really I got my food this one got food from the calf. Today is Fried Fish Friday. And I got gumbo and a baked potato because why not? And oh wait, 
Shout out to Bay. Who y'all? Okay. Now, the most intimate, yeah, excuse me, intimate part of myself is my closet. It's kind of, I mean, it's dirty in my opinion. So I apologize, but this is the real destiny. So we got in this bin over here is extra stuff: toothpaste, toothbrushes, lotion, deodorant, bath wash, anything. Um, laundry stuff, sheets, air freshener, my actual clothes. Uh, my purse and then my bag full of bags and then starting at the same angle uh, shoes that I literally have not worn um, all of my hair stuff medicine girl stuff random stuff as you can tell about the receipts and stuff um, towels and then my cleaning bin plus my towels hamper and then woo, the shirt that I was supposed to wear today <laughs> And then at the top, you do have a lot of space to fit stuff, um, but I just have my box from a mattress topper, so just in case y'all were wondering what kind I have, that's what it looks like. I got it from Kmart for like $40 on sale. I think regular price is $120 something. And then I just got the bins that I put stuff in to move in here. And then real quick, like I was saying, um, the mattress and stuff in here is twin XL so just as a reference um, my mattress topper which is twin stops right here but the mattress extends to right here so five inches it's really not that big of a deal I usually don't notice it unless I'm not sleeping as high up on my bed as I usually do so it's really not that big of a deal um, my twin sheets they fit perfectly honestly they're nice and long and I still have a lot left over that I had to really shove under the mattress but um yeah that is really it okay this thing really zoomed in but uh yeah that's really it for me hold up let me grab my ponytail heh 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 yeah, that's it for me. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, in the next one, I do have a lot of interesting and exciting news to tell y'all. So, whoop, whoop. Um, I apologize if the camera quality has changed from the beginning to the end of the video or just changed, period. I did get a new phone <laughs> since I filmed this first part, like, literally, like, two months ago. Yeah, got a new phone. But, yeah. And just in case y'all were wondering, this is my view. Can I... Okay, this is different. Hold up. What about this way? So I have myself a nice view of the gym. And then because I'm too lazy to open the blinds, that's Xavier South and then the L as y'all know it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. And thank you for being patient with me and still looking for me because I've been ducked off this entire semester, which I'll explain in the next video. But thank you guys. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.